get fly like a bird. We keep the commandments on those you heard. Pull out some scripts like I'm a director. I stay with my sword. I'm ready when that is the end of the day. Y'all doing all right? I, we, was at, we went over this with the sister just a minute ago. I just want to ask y'all this question too. Who's this right here? That's Jesus. The Messiah? Okay, all praises. So now what we're going to do is, because we've all been taught this was Jesus, right? So what I will do is we're going to read the Bible and find out who this really is, okay? Because we got two signs up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like baseball. Three strikes and you're out, okay? So, huh? Say it again. What did she say? He's the king of kings. Okay, let's see. Watch this. We're going to compare these two signs with what the Bible says. Because you said this was Jesus, right? Let's see, Revelations 1 and 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ, okay? So watch this, read verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says his head and the hairs on his face was white like wool. Which one of these two pictures has white woolly hair? This one over here, right? So that's strike one on this guy right here. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And it said his eyes was red like fire. Which one of these two pictures got red eyes? This one, right? So that's strike two on this guy. Read. And his feet. Now he looked down at his feet. Read. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown, right? Brass is brown. So he said Jesus Christ's feet was brown like brass. Let's see how brown. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything, what color is it going to turn? Huh? If you burn something... If I, if I burn something, it said burned, meaning like in past tense. So if I burned anything, what color would it turn when you bring it out? Look. This right here is burned brass. What color is that? Black. So if Jesus Christ's feet was black, what color was his face? Huh? Black? Black? Right. So what color was Jesus? That's right. Black. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. So now I'm going to ask you a question again. Who is this? Huh? How is that Jesus? We just read that Jesus Christ was a black man. Is this a black man right here? So who is that? You know who it is? His name is Cesar Bogier. That This is a lie that was taught to us by the Roman Catholic Church. That, yes, this is Cesar Bogier. He's uh, Pope Alexander VI son of Rome. And he was a homosexual. He was a rapist and a murderer. And you ever heard of Leonardo da Vinci? He was an artist. And he had a homosexual relationship with this man. And Pope hired, and Pope hired him to paint his son as Jesus Christ. Bring it out. And while, and this was the image they gave to us while we was in slavery. Right. And also, this was the image that they gave to the Hispanics and uh, Native Americans when the uh, so-called Spaniards came to this side of the earth. Bring it out. You heard of the Spaniards before? Christopher Columbus, Fernand Cortez. What did they do to the so-called Hispanics, Aztecs, Mayans, the Incas when they came over here? They enslaved them. Yes, they enslaved them. And you know what else they did? They gave them Catholicism. That's why so many of the so-called Hispanics today are Catholic because of slavery. Just like the so-called black man in America. That's why we are Baptist, 
Mormon, uh, Pentecostal, all of these things we got through slavery. Look, uh, where is it? Look at this. Look. Baptist. The Baptist religion was founded by John Smith in 1608. Where was our people in 1608? Bring it out! Out here in the cotton field picking cotton. Right. Slaves. Yes. Um, uh, Seven Day Adventures, 1863. Jehovah Witness, uh, 1872. Okay. All of these uh, denominations were I'm invented uh, and during the time green. of our enslavement. Time. They went green. I the only the reason great grandma was, was a Baptist is because master was a Baptist. Mm -hmm. They didn't so bring like, um, Baptist right, and Pentecostal like and Mormon uh, from the west coast of Africa to America in the cotton and put them in the cotton fields. Our people knew nothing about that. As a matter of fact, look at this. Overcharge they were over this is a, a this is a stone right here that's found in Los Lunas, New Mexico. It's called the Decalogue Stone, and what's written on it are the Ten Commandments, and it dates back to 500 B.C. That's way before the conquistadors came to this side of the earth. And guess what? It's written in Paleo Hebrew. So that tells you that the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans that were in this land. Before the conquistadors came, what language did they speak? If this was written in Hebrew, what language did they speak? They spoke Hebrew. The so-called Hispanics in this land spoke Hebrew. What language? Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What language was the Bible originally written in? Hebrew. You see that? So that's what we are here teaching everybody today is that the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans, you are the Israelites. That's right. You are God's chosen people. And Jesus Christ is a black man, That's right. not a white Roman Catholic. And Catholicism is of the devil. Right. You know that? Yes, it is. The Catholic Church has a, over a $3 billion lawsuit against them right now for over 100 years of child molestation. Right now to this day. But yet, our people still walk up in the Catholic Church thinking they serving the Lord. I got another thing for you. We just said Jesus Christ was a black man, right? Give me that, uh, the Jews, uh, John 14, I mean Jeremiah. I'm going to show you something, because Jesus Christ was a Jew, right? He was a Jew. So if Jesus Christ was a Jew, and he was a black man, what color are the Jews? Black. So who are those people in Israel right now saying that they the Jews? They're imposters. Right. That's right. That's what right. they did was they stole our land, they financed our slavery, and they put us out here in these fields and took our nationality. That's what happened. They are not the Jews. Now I'm going to ask you another question. The so-called Hispanics, they do what you call it, Santa, Santa Maria? Santa Maria. Santa Maria, right? So now, if Jesus Christ was a Jew and he was a black man, his mother name was Mary, right? She was also a Jew. So what color was his mother? So when, when, when the Hispanics do Santa Maria, what color is that picture of Mary they have up? So is that a lie? So Santa Maria is a lie. You see that? These are the lies that we've been taught through Catholicism, through religion. God didn't give us religion. He gave us laws to keep. Just like today. What is today according to the Bible? What's today? The Saturday. Saturday. But what is it according to the Bible? How do you say Saturday in Spanish? Sabado. The Sabbath day. That's what today is. You see that? Our ancestors had knowledge of the Bible. You see what I'm saying? And that's what we out here to give back to you. The knowledge of who you are. And today is the Sabbath day. 
What are we supposed to do on the Sabbath day? Rest. That's one thing. What else? Because we, the Bible, get it right quick, Exodus. You got it? Book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. And see, just like when I asked you at first, you didn't know. That's why God had to put it there and say, remember the Sabbath day. Because he knew we was going to go into slavery. He knew all of these things were going to happen and we were going to forget. But now he put the spirit on the, of the Lord back on the men you see out here to come out here and tell you to remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Meaning separate from all other days. It's separate. Holy. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. Just like you said, we ain't supposed to work on the Sabbath day. Right. But look around. Are our people working? Are our people getting it near a mile right quick? Watch this. I'm going to show you another thing we ain't supposed to do on the Sabbath day. Because these are the things we got to come back to. Because I'm going to show you why. Read that. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Or we ain't supposed to buy nor sell nothing on the Sabbath day. That's right. Are we buying and selling? Yeah. Right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Run!